<laughs> Hotel <laughs> Round 2, Saskatoon. <laughs> so this one is much more accessible and uh, wheelchair friendly. So starting with the flooring, we have tile coming right into the entrance, which is nice. Um, doesn't bump up the wheelchair and makes it really easy to spin around. And might as well go straight into the bathroom, which is where we find our biggest challenges. So nice wide door. We still have the problem with the mirror. Oh, huh, let me remind you, this is not a specific wheelchair friendly room. This is a regular king size hotel room with a tub. No fancy anything. Every single room looks like this. Every single bathroom a wheelchair can fit into in this entire hotel. So, you know, you can see the things that don't work great. It has a shelf underneath of the sink, but again, that blocks your legs from a pipe that's not insulated. So it could be made wheelchair friendly, really easy. Take the shelf out, insulate it, done. Uh, mirror, a little bit high, it's fine. You know, you gotta kind of hawk a loogie into the sink in order to make it with your with your uh, um, toothpaste in the morning. But again, I prefer this setup to the last. Now we can come right in here. This isn't, the toilet's in between the two walls. It's not the best for a transfer. I've made worse, so I'm still able to get right up to the toilet transfer and there's enough space. Plus with walls on side, either side of the toilet, uh, you're not going to fall off onto the floor. I can spin my wheelchair around on the floor of the bathroom, which is nice. There's nothing in my way, no threshold to get in the door. Uh, the tub, again, for a lot of people that have more limited function, the tub is very low, but this is something that you can put a tub bench into Problem solved, transfer onto the tub bench like any other regular bathroom. Just would have to be an appropriate one. The grab bar in this tub is ribbed. So when you have soapy, wet, slippery hands, it's etched so you don't slide down the pole like in the previous. The only thing that would really have to be done for this, maybe add another grab bar, switch the shower head to a handle so it comes down and then it would be fully friendly. This is my pro tips for paras. Tiny little Rojo. I travel with it pretty much everywhere. It was a gift because they're expensive and I can't afford expensive. But I used to, in the bottom of a tub, just fold up a towel as many times as you can to create a butt pad and stick it in the bottom to sit so that you don't muck your butt. This is better. I put it on my car seat. I put it on benches. It rolls up tiny enough. It doesn't have a pump. These are all permanently filled. So that's usually what I put in the bottom of the tub. To not, what, to prevent pressure source. <clears throat> Again, lots of room. You can move around. Accessible door handle, which is nice. It swings all the way open lovely. Again, it's set up for able-bodied, so your racking is a little bit taller. Without the shelf in it though, like the other closet had, I can get right in here underneath and still reach my jacket fairly easily. It's nice because the ironing board is hung up and out of the way. It doesn't fall on you when you open the door. Full length mirror, their key. Every, good for everybody. <clears throat> Thermostat, able body room. Remember, this is a regular hotel room, nothing fancy. I can see it, I can operate it. So can somebody that's vertically challenged, but fully able, so that's nice. Tall people can squat, we can't get up. And we have a king size bed, which is great. <laughs> Four pillows for me, one pillow for somebody else. <laughs> and, oh, I haven't tried yet, but 
The wheelchair can fit down the side of the bed just like the other one. It's full of luggage. It didn't come with a specific pull-out couch, but we have one. And then the other thing, the coffee table in the other room, in the accessible room, I couldn't move without running the wheelchair into it. These ones are nice and on wheels and they slide very nicely out of the way. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> last thing, a desk. It's wheelchair friendly on both sides. So if somebody's sitting on the computer on that side, I can still pull up underneath on this. Now two people can work at the desk instead of one. That's a nice feature. Coffee maker is at my height. Again, I don't have to pull it off of a shelf or get up to see where the water goes and worry about spilling it everywhere. So, you know, there's no funny buttons in corners. All the light fixtures have their on off switch, the bottom of them. Um, Don't mind our candy. <laughs> candy is good for you. Our other room didn't have a microwave. This one does. It's a great feature, especially for somebody adaptive traveling because I buy one meal and eat it for two, possibly three. Cold burritos are okay, warm ones are better. The end. <laughs> One more thing about the pull couch, though, is uh, just the layout of the room. With the couch open, it doesn't oh, yes. interfere with <clears throat> you getting around. And with these out of the way, they can get completely out of the way. You can pull the couch out. Well, and now, say there's a team of us. You can sleep one person paralyzed, two people paralyzed, disabled, whatever your ability is, three, possibly four, and everybody can still move around in their wheelchairs. Perfect. <laughs> oh, did you finish it? No, it's still going. Oh, <laughs> we're at Hampton Inn by Hilton and I find that Homewood Suites also by Hampton and Hilton I believe these Hampton ones and any Hilton hotel I have yet to come into a very large obstacle like in many of the other ones traveling all over North America through the states and through Canada um, you start to figure out the hotel chains that are more accessible just by means of their original design. Like this room is like every single other room on the floor. We'll show you a picture of the map. You should just take a snapshot of this. <clears throat> Do you have a light? Does it work? It should adjust enough. Okay. Oh yeah. So we are in 409 and you can see that is the bathroom that we have, and it is the same as every other bathroom in every other room. King size beds, queen size beds, doesn't matter. Here is your accessible room. The bathroom is larger. The room is slightly smaller and it has two queen beds in it. That's why we're in this one. But you know, you've got a larger bathroom, but every single other unit, you can get a wheelchair into the, to the bathroom, the whole hotel. What about staff? How the staff here? Oh my gosh, my experience with staff here is uh, exponentially greater. She didn't assume anything with me and my disability or my ability to uh, stay in a hotel. So the woman at the front counter smiled politely, took me to two separate rooms just to make sure that, you know, they were the same and the king bed and the bathroom worked well and they offered me the accessible one. I still prefer the king. So, you know, they have a roll in shower and it's fine, but she was happy. She was bubbly. She had, it just makes your experience so much better when you run into barriers all the time that a person can change your entire experience. So, 
again, for their staff training, she's only been here for a few months and I'm not sure how long the previous guy had been at the other hotel. Uh, he was a little sour over whatever it was, especially at two o'clock in the morning when I was having problems with what was set up and laid out. I understand that it's not their fault at the front desk, but it is staff training, education, education of the booking agents. So hopefully we, with these videos, start to see that change. My phone starts to ring and people start to um, desire the... People start to desire the customer service experience and want to provide that at the best of their abilities. So we hope to grow this online adaptive community and answer your questions, educate. Uh, you teach me things. I don't know everything. I only know what I know with the adversity that I've been given in life. So thanks everybody. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon.